everybody welcome back to Mike's garage well today we have a problem this is my 78 Eldorado as you guys know in its usual parking space that it actually fits in and I was driving this car today just a little bit I actually drove it yesterday all day and I was going to move it because it was gonna rain and come to find out that we have a little problem here. I don't know if you can see it, but we have a nice little coolant leak. And I have some weird lady looking at me over there, wondering what I'm doing, talking to myself. So, so we are going to have to figure out what to do with this car. I may have to drive it to my shop. Don't really want a $250 tow or whatever it's going to be. So I think maybe next weekend I'm going to have to drive it to my shop, which is about 32 miles from here. So we'll see if we'll make it. We'll have to figure something out. Anyway, uh, let's see what happens. Okay, now here we are at my 78 Cadillac Eldorado. This is the one last week that we had an issue with coolant leaking out of it, which is either a head gasket or a water pump. And I don't see much in the pan down there, so it's really only dripping out while there's pressure on it. So what I'm going to do, <clears throat> pull the dipstick out, actually it looks really clean doesn't look frothy so I'm gonna guess that it's not a head gasket let's come over here look at the inside of the cap well, that looks clean also <clears throat> so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna chance the drive actually let's take a look at the coolant see how much it's in there. It's actually full. <clears throat> so we might actually make it. Just gotta put a little more water in there. Okay. Just make sure this is full up to the top. So let's give it a drive. Okay, I'm about five or six miles into the journey so far. Uh, I just pulled over to take a look to see if it's dripping uh, coolant, and it is. Still about the same amount, not too bad. I've got a nice little cigar here. Just Maybe I should have saved it in case I break down. <laughs> uh, but anyway, we're about to get on the highway. It's not too terribly hot a day. I don't know, it's probably 78, 79 degrees, so... Hopefully we will make it as long as it keeps going at the same rate it is now and a hose doesn't blow off or something We should be okay So far so good Okay, we are about oh, a little over two-thirds through our journey, and we're still going all right. I'm trying to keep it around 65, and I've got the air conditioning off. I don't see a big trail of water behind us, so we might be holding our own for now, which I better be careful because that's the last words uh, spoken of Captain McSorley on the Edmund Fitzgerald. We're holding our own. And then the ship sank. Let's hope this ship does not sink. We got about, uh, about seven uh, or eight miles to go. And hopefully we will make it. Fingers are crossed.
Okay, now we're getting off the highway and it's surface streets from here, which means stop and go and more idling. But about four or five miles to go. And we're in luck, there's not a lot of traffic here, which is surprising. So we made it back with no problems, which is nice. It still has the water leak. I'm going to pretty much say it's definitely a water pump. I believe it's leaking from the shaft, uh, the seal there. I'm not sure if I'm going to have time to do the work or if I'm just going to have somebody else do it. But stay tuned for part two when we get it back on the road. And thanks for watching.